Today I would like to show you guys some of the earliest spring medicinal plants that are popping up. The very cool thing about this is that a lot of these plants that are popping up right now are actually natural treatments for a lot of the common spring ailments such as allergies and coughs. So what I'm going to show you today is um, a few of these plants and explain to you how it is that we use them. So the first medicinal plant I want to talk about is dead purple nettle. Um, this little plant is a really widely spread plant. It's a very common plant. It is in the mint family, so it has a tendency to spread. And if you can see behind me all these little purple flowers, this is actually dead purple nettle. Um, a lot of farmers hate this plant because it is invasive, but this is also a very commonly foraged plant. So the leaves of this plant are absolutely edible. They're delicious. You can make pestos, add them to soups, cook them like greens. You can also add them to salads. They are safe um, to eat raw. But a lot of people don't know this plant contains quite a bit of medicinal qualities. So this plant is actually anti-inflammatory. It's antibacterial, antifungal. So it can be used um, much in the same way as common plantain for skin wounds and insect bites. It is an astringent and a diuretic, so it can help flush the system out. But one of my favorite qualities is that it's a natural antihistamine. So this can actually help with controlling um, seasonal allergies. Um, my family and I actually drink a tea of this or I will make extracts for the kids. And this is actually what helps us with our seasonal allergies. So this is an amazing plant. Um, I will say this is actually not related to stinging nettles. So anybody that's fearful of touching this plant, this is not going to sting you. Um, the name actually comes just because the leaves do resemble stinging nettle. So this is a great, great medicinal and foraging plant. This next plant is really commonly known by anybody really that does um, herbal medicine or plant medicine and this plant is actually native to North America and has long been used by the indigenous people for various reasons. So this little plant in front of me is actually mullein and although this plant is very small um, at the moment, mullein can grow taller than six feet. It is an amazing, amazing plant to see in real life and it has a lot of history. So this amazing plant, really its main medicinal benefit is its ability to treat any kind of lung issues. So lung issues meaning it can range from your simplest um, cough from allergies all the way to something as severe as COPD. Now for many centuries, um, this plant was actually smoked. One of the treatments when um, people would have a cough in ancient times, the indigenous would take the whole plant and throw it on the fire and then breathe the smoke. This actually would open up the airways and bronchia tubes and allow that person to um, breathe a little better. Now there's actually several brands of um, cigarettes that sell mullen as something that is smoked. And traditionally throughout history, this is one of the ingredients in Kinnikinik, which is the popular um, known smoke that the natives smoked in the peace pipe. So this is a very cool plant. It has a lot of history and a lot of medicinal benefits. So what often happens with mullen is we drink it in a tea or we make an extract with it. And one of my favorite things actually to do is um, late in the summer when the plant is fully grown and blossoming its yellow, beautiful flowers, you can actually take these flowers and infuse them in honey. This makes an excellent natural cough syrup. And I had to joke last year with the whole, um, you know, Corona going on and the stores being out of toilet paper, anybody that's ever felt mullen, it's an excellent, excellent source of a natural toilet paper. So this is a very cool plant and by far one of my favorites. So right now in spring, this plant is starting to come up and these young leaves are perfect for your medicinal value. So mullen is another great one. So 
So the next plant on our list is actually a fungi. So behind me, these little mushrooms growing on this tree are um, what your mushrooms. And these are a very popular forage mushroom. They are quite delicious. I myself actually enjoy foraging for these. But once again, a lot of people may not know they contain a lot of medicinal um, qualities. So the main quality of wood ear mushroom is that it is very high in iron. So this can be absolutely beneficial to people that suffer from anemia. This mushroom also helps to protect gut health and liver function. Um, as I said in my last video, you know, liver function is so vital to the impurities, to, to purify the impurities in your body. So keeping your liver healthy is so vital to good health in general. Um, these mushrooms help you do that. So these are an excellent, excellent winter and early spring um, mushroom. Actually, last year, I found these mushrooms almost throughout the entire season. So this is a great, great medicinal um, fungi. is also a fungi and this mushroom is native to North America and like most of the medicinal plants here has long been used um, medicinally. So this is the turkey tail mushroom and many people have heard of this mushroom. It's a popular mushroom and it's also a very widely foraged mushroom. Although we do not eat this mushroom, it is absolutely a quality medicinal. So this mushroom actually is full of antioxidant compounds which boost your immune system. Your immune system is really the only um, true healer that the body has. So when the immune system is functioning properly, your body is able to fight off disease and illness um, quite easily. This mushroom also is, has the ability to improve gut bacteria and gut flora. Your gut, once again, is where your immune system lies. So this is going to overall help your health in general. Now in studies and even now um, medically, people are using this mushroom to treat cancer and there's a lot of studies still being done on its effectiveness with certain types of cancers. So anytime a bout of sickness comes, a flu, even your common cold, a cup of turkey tail tea is going to knock it out of you. This mushroom is quite easy to identify and its vibrant colors and texture are easy to spot. It should be flexible to the touch and the underside should have tiny holes where the spores are. If it has gills or is flat, it is not a turkey tail mushroom. Now this next plant is actually not a very popular plant because it is considered an invasive weed. And like most plants that have medicinal value, they are considered invasive. So this plant is actually the bitter dock plant. And bitter dock can be an edible plant when the leaves are young, you can eat this plant, but it also contains a lot of medicinal value. So for starters, this plant actually has been used as a natural laxative for many, many centuries. It also can be used to help ease the symptoms of menopause. An extract made of the root of this plant can help to repair liver damage. And this plant is actually very um, beneficial for the skin. So things such as acne and blemishes can help be controlled using this plant topically. So this is an excellent, excellent medicinal plant that a lot of people just um, happen to overlook. So I actually just did a video the other day on um, this mushroom growing behind me. This is enoki mushroom. And it, this is a popular forage mushroom, but it also is full of um, medicinal qualities. So in Asian culture, this has been used to treat liver disease. It helps to lower blood pressure and it helps to also lower cholesterol. So this can be a very beneficial medicinal mushroom to incorporate in your diet. When harvesting mushrooms, it is absolutely vital that you are positive of identification. Enoki mushroom does have a deadly lookalike, so once again, always make sure you are 100% about what it is that you are ingesting 
and harvesting. So the last plant on our list is a super famous one. We have the almighty dandelion. And most people know about this amazing plant. Dandelion is a highly foraged food. There's a lot of things that you can do with the flowers and the leaves. People eat dandelion greens um, quite commonly. And the root is highly, highly medicinal. So this plant actually has the amazing ability to cleanse the blood and cleanse the liver. Um, as I always say, the liver is really the organ that helps to keep our body functioning properly. So having good liver health is very important. Um, cleansing the blood essentially helps to cleanse the lymph gland system, which is another very important part to your immune system. Um, and dandelion also is a diuretic, so it helps to flush the kidneys and get rid of any excess water weight. This is an amazing, amazing plant, and its benefits can be um, really got any way you choose. You can eat the flowers, you can eat the greens, um, and you can make extracts and teas with the roots. So dandelion is a common, amazing medicinal plant. Spring is an excellent time to get out and start foraging some of these medicinal plants. A lot of these plants that we discussed today are not going to be available in a month or so. So it's very important to take advantage of the seasons when they are providing it for you. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of these plants can benefit you during the spring sicknesses. So we have plants that boost immune system. We have plants that provide iron, vitamin K, um, antioxidants. We have plants that provide antihistamine properties to help with allergies. So a lot of the plants that we discussed today can help with the everyday um, spring ailments that usually hit a lot of us in the beginning of spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. I hope it gives you a, um, a little bit of knowledge. Maybe you can go out and explore and see if you have any of these plants. So until next time, guys, get outside and stay wild.